everybody, Goldie here, and we are back with Hall of Fame Undertaker, and we are going to be looking at his silver and his gold gear and seeing what they add to his builds. So first things first, let's unlock the silver gear. Let's equip it. Let's look at it. He's got a hole in his coat. My man. What in the... I mean, at least it doesn't swing around like it's a statue it's supposed to be. You know, stay put, right? But quite the contrast between the bronze and the silver this time around, which I ain't mad at. So, one gear. Moves that generate all color gems will generate two more all color gems. And in a fairly unprecedented move for my channel, we're going to do one build. And we're going to do the same build for both gears. And the reason being, um, in my first preview of him, I didn't actually use any gem generation trainers. Um, I didn't feel like it needed them. Uh, but I do still want to show what it looks like with one gear and with... And then again with both. So we're going to run the four star build for both. Uh, so double blue with black two. So suit bones is blue one. Deal 98,441 damage. And choose a three by six area to make into blast gems. So making 18 blast gems. Last ride is blue two. Deal 93,226 damage and make 14 blast gems into blue gems. So with the one gear, we are now making 16 into blue. And black two is the leaping clothesline, one MP, deal 41,989 damage and increase the damage of all of your gems by 60% for two turns, does not include bonus damage, not applicable in this case. So. Since we are taking a look at the gears, I am going to bring in Mr. Uh, King Seamus. I know it's he's quote-unquote rare. Uh, but we looked at how it, how it works without any of the rare stuff. And if you get the gears, chances are you're, you know, for the most part, you're spending for these characters anyways. Um, shout out to my free-to-plays, though. Uh, so, Lawler for more blue MP, Edge for more blue gem damage. Why aren't you using RVD? I didn't want to pay the 50k. Um, Santa Hogan for more gem damage to all gems, and then Powerhouse Seamus for 2200 on the blue. Um, does more than the 15% from Afa, so that's why I went with Seamus. Could have also done a um, Blast Gem coach as well. Uh, belt, I have gone through and swapped my medals to get more blue gem substats. So we got the blue gems up to 88.9% plus 133% plus um, on the blue moves from the metal. Full Fury, 5% um, bonus damage from the belt. And then we're going to use a blue bomber. 50% chance to create two random blast gems each time you use a signature move or swipe a gem. So that's going to help us fill the board with blast gems, turn them blue. The blue moves are going to refill themselves, which is great. Mick is going to jump across my laptop and establish himself on my desk. So now that everyone is in their proper place... Let's take a look and see how Mr. Silver Taker does. That's such a cool ring entrance, just stands there and it's like acknowledge me. The original acknowledge me, right? So leaping clothesline. Nice. We get to choose where these are going. So let's see, what are our blue gems up to? 28,000. And yeah, we're going to make 16 blasts into blue. Uh, 
Uh, so you want to keep it relatively in the middle. That way you get, you know, this five by seven area. The blue bomber will help you kind of cut into the corners a little more. And the blue bomber triggered again. We don't have blast gem damage, do we? No, not yet. And last ride. Everything is loaded, ready to go. So 1.19 mil on turn one. He gets a Wicked Cascade to kick out, which is not surprising. But hopefully he doesn't pin us. And I know I keep saying that. But it keeps working. Uh, okay, so we kept the stack. We got 28,000 on our blues. Let's boost them again. Plate triggers, so 38,000. And we do have it up over the red gems, which is nice. And want to keep it relatively in the middle. Plate triggers again. There is no connection, though, unfortunately, but we do get that one. And then... Last ride. Do it all again. Easy mode. Easy mode. One and a half mil. Obviously ideal with the Titan plate that gives you 100% more gem damage. But have no fear. The gold gear is here. What is wrong with his face? Okay. So let's grab that gear and see what that does. All right. So we're going to keep the same moveset, the same entourage, the same belt, but we're going all gold everything. As, as we all know, gold is better than platinum. So all gold, everything, Hall of Fame, Undertaker. Look at that shiny shine. That shiny shiny. And uh, what does this gear do? A reminder, I know I say this every time there is a double gear character that comes out. It doesn't matter which one you get first. The, the boosts only go by what gear you have. Like how many gears you have, not the specific ones. So we really we could have done the gold gear first and it would have only given us this boost. But I like ending on gold because, you know, it just makes sense for me. Anyways... Uh, so both gears activates blast gems do 50% more damage. So it's like we pretending to have the Titan plate. And with that logic, that's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. We're going to give ourselves a class disadvantage. Um, a reminder that we are running with a blue gem focus. So let's see what we can get accomplished Battle of the Hall of Famers. Man, I really should have gone up against a Hall of Famer with the bronze gear just to show the difference because bronze taker looked very dark in comparison to bronze Eddie. Anyways, semantics. Let's get going. Boost our gem damage, so 27,000. Place our area of blast gems. And I'm liking this because we got some blue sticking out too. No bomber plate, but that's fine. So 27,000 with one stack um, on the regular blue gems. And 34,000 on the Blast Gems. We'll make 16 of them into blue. Everything just explodes. Minimal Cascade. 
1.28 mil. And giving ourselves a class disadvantage, they still couldn't kick out. So what I'm going to do is run it again. Because I want to see, you know, how high that number can get if the opponent kicks out. Why did they... <laughs> Y'all saw that, right? Like, the eyes coming out of their head when they're a Hall of Fame statue looks ridiculous. Um, but I want to see, like, how high that number is going to get if the opponent kicks out and he gets to stack it again. So let's just run that one more time. Hey, the blue bomber triggered. Okay, he's not going to kick out. Whatever, we tried. Whatever, we tried. Consistency, though. Still, like, a mil and a quarter. Make sure to look at the Undertaker's face in the victory pose, because that is, like, nightmare fuel. Why, baby, why? <laughs> All right, let's wrap things up. So that concludes the look at both gears for Hall of Fame Taker. Again, one gear, moves that generate all color gems. Get back here. We'll create two more all color gems and both gears, blast gems do 50% more damage, which I think, um, the blast gems doing 50% more damage, I think would work well with the, um, the five star build as well. But I see a lot of people using like, I can see a lot of people using the submission as a super sub instead of the damage build where you reduce the turns. Um, so that's why I ran the blues. But let me know your thoughts on Taker with gear, without gear. Um, did they give him a write-up? Very nice. All right. In the face of all challenges, The Undertaker rose stronger and mightier than ever, serving as sports entertainment's grim reaper of justice. Ignore the sirens in the background. His name permanently etched like an epitaph on the history books of WWE. No grave could hold him, no god could claim him, and no devil would have him. In the end, there can only be one suitable resting place for the almighty dead man, the WWE Hall of Fame. The Phenom was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame as part of the class of 2022. The dead man will live forever. That's an awesome bio. I wish they put, you know, that much thought into other bios. But, um, so let me know in the comments, what's your favorite Taker match? What's your favorite Taker moment? What was your favorite rendition? Of the Undertaker, I'm impartial to American Badass. Um, him ripping around on the motorcycle with that bandana was just everything for me. Uh, but let me know your Taker memories in the comments. And um, as always, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching and hashtag. Thank you, Taker.